What's going on guys? I'm back with another Fortnite video today and in today's video I'm going to be going over my top 10 skins that were released during Season 4 of Fortnite. Now as you guys know Season 5 is dropping tomorrow so this is the last day of Season 4 in Fortnite. So in honor of Season 4 just to look back on it and reflect I decided to do a top 10 list of all the skins that were released in Fortnite this season. Now keep in mind this is all my opinion um, I'd like to hear your guys' opinions in the comment section below. Leave your lists, uh, comment what you think your number one would be, anything like that. I love to hear other people's opinions, so don't be shy and leave a comment of your list. But starting off with number 10, I put the soccer skins. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of soccer or anything like that, but I think these skins are pretty awesome just in the fact that they have tons of customization. You can change the color, the country, uh, you can change what number they have on them. I mean, it's the most customization we've seen on any skin in Fortnite so far. So I think this is a step in the right direction and could be a sign of awesome things to come, which is why I put these on my list at the number 10 spot. Now moving on to number 9, I have a detective skin, which is the Noor. Now I'm not really a fan of these detective skins, but I think this is the only one that I like and it's the only one that made my list. And uh, it is coming in at the number 9 spot. and. I think it is by far my favorite out of the detective skins. I think the other two are honestly trash. I'm not really a huge fan of them at all. I think the other two look like shit, honestly. But uh, moving on to the number 8 spot, I have Venturion. Now when this skin first came out, I was kind of uh, back and forth on the skin, I guess you could say. But the more I've worn this skin, the more it has grown on me. And I think it's an awesome superhero skin. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of Venturi or Ventura, the female counterpart. But I think Venturion is an awesome skin. The back bling is really cool with the big long cape. Kind of similar to Omens, except a different color. But I use this skin a lot in Fortnite, and I really love it. Now, moving on to the number 7 spot, I, put, I have the Rap Scallion. Now this skin is part of the prison set, and I like this one a lot better than the Scoundrel, which is the guy version of the skin. Now the Rapscallion has a pretty cool back bling, which I enjoy. At first I wasn't really a fan of the back bling, but now I really love the back bling. And you don't really see a lot of people with this skin in Fortnite games. I mean, I've played in so many games over the last few weeks, grinding out the challenge, just trying to get the Omega, but I have not really seen anyone wearing the Rap Scallion. It did just release back into the store yesterday, so it is in the store right now if you guys want to go buy it. But I love this skin. I think it's pretty cool and it's one of the underrated skins in Season 4 of Fortnite. Now down to the number 6 spot, I have a Battle Pass skin, which is the Valor. And this skin I believe is really awesome. When the Battle Pass first came out, I really didn't like this skin. I thought it looked kind of weird, but then when I unlocked it and used it, Something about this skin I think is just awesome. Now it doesn't have a back bling which is kind of a downer, but I think the skin is very unique and you see a decent amount of players using it but it's not extremely overused, which I like about it. And it's just something different, something you don't see every day. Moving on to the number 5 spot, I have a skin that was just released with the 4th of July content which is the Fireworks Team Leader, which is the big giant teddy bear kind of like the cuddle team leader except with an American flag on it which I think is awesome I like it better than the cuddle team leader actually and the fact that it's cheaper is another huge plus to this skin and uh, I've seen a lot of people rocking it in the last few days but I think this is actually going to be a rare skin I don't see this skin coming back really often so I could see this skin becoming a rare skin so the people that bought it might have made a great choice I actually didn't buy this skin because, I don't know, I just didn't really, I'm not a fan of the big teddy bear ones. But as I've seen this one in the lobby, one of my friends has it that I play duos with a lot. And I really like it. I like it a lot more than I expected and I wish that I did make the purchase. Moving on to number four, we have the Omen. Now the Omen, I absolutely love the skin. Nothing bad to say about it. It's very unique. There's nothing really similar to it in the game. I guess you could say that the Carbide and Omega are similar to it before their upgrades. But just the cape on this guy, I mean, he's just an awesome dude. He's pretty badass. Now, moving on to the number three spot, I have the Vertex. Now, this skin is a pretty recent release as well. 
and it just came out came out last week and it's the it's an orange superhero i really love this color orange on fortnite skins i'm not sure why but i think his design is awesome it looks like a futuristic superhero and the back bling is pretty cool which i really loved uh, the back bling i used on a couple of my other skins and it translates pretty well to other skins moving on to the number two spot we have the omega now this skin if you're looking at the skin itself is an awesome skin and there's not many skins in fortnite that are better looking than this one the reason this is at my number two spot is the fact that everyone and their mother has this skin and you see it probably half of every fortnite lobby is wearing the omega skin so it's completely overused now hopefully as this as time progresses people will stop will kind of get away from this skin but based on the sole looks of this skin it's a very dope skin and it made the number two spot on my list moving on to number one we have the fate now the fate skin is just amazing it's my favorite skin out of the whole season there nothing beats it in my opinion it's so sleek looking and it's really nothing outside the box but the back bling i think is awesome you can wear the back bling with tons of characters it looks awesome and uh, it looks really good with the purple Omega. When you have the purple lights on your Omega, this back bling looks amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what your list is in the comments below. Tell me what you think I got wrong, what I got right, anything like that. I love hearing your guys' opinions. But this is my top 10 list of all the skins that released in Fortnite Season 4. Hopefully we have some awesome ones coming with Season 5 tomorrow. But with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Drop a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more videos like this. See you later.